Hello, my name is Emma, and today <laughs> we are going through old artwork. Um, this is something I really like to watch others do, and I knew I wanted to do it, so I'm excited because um, I just feel very YouTuber-like, you know? But we have a lot to go through. I don't know how much I'm going to go through in this video. And you will definitely see that I am not very organized and I do not write dates on things. So, you know, we're playing a guessing game today for sure. Why not just jump right into it? I think it's good to start with something pretty old. This is probably one of my first sketchbooks. I think I got this in elementary school from like Michaels or something. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I covered my name with this. <laughs> um, uh, let's just get into it. Um, okay, let's not. <laughs> okay. Um, as you will see, I have I had a habit of going back to old sketchbooks and things, and uh, using them later on. So you'll see artwork that's like really old, and then artworks that's like little more recent. I'm gonna have to blur my names because uh yeah I wrote my name a lot. Uh yeah oh got some good stuff in here man. Um I'll just flip through this and if anything is of note. This stuff is just kind of like I'm a budding artist. I feel like I was probably around nine or ten when I was drawing this kind of stuff. This is my mom's bedroom. Actually pretty accurate to the window. <laughs> um, I don't know, didn't finish. Ice cream. <laughs> oh, I think this is supposed to be my cousin as a mermaid. <laughs> I was really proud of this when I drew it. I remember that. Oh, as you will see in these little girl drawings, there's always a little dog. Um, <laughs> rocking her. <laughs> pretty creative. Pretty creative. There's always that dog. That damn dog. Um, yeah, I didn't finish that one. These are some owls, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is a, oh, this actually, it's not that bad. It's a little Christmas tree, watercolor. I think I hated this when I drew it, or when I did it, but I actually kind of like the presents. <laughs> and here we go, on to a very prominent phase in my life. What does it say? It says, she doesn't belong here, and they're bullying her. I guess this is my, like, OC or something. Griffin OC. She's right, I don't belong here. Who's that? Oh, Lord. I'm Misty. Hey, who are you? <laughs> very wrong. I'm Pinkie Pie. Smiles. Yippee! <laughs> Hello. You can barely see that. And then I guess I just gave up on that. Um, th this is what I'm talking about. This is way more recent. This is probably like middle school. I probably just found this and drew this in here because I do that sometimes. Um, uh, yeah. That's um, my cousin as a pony. Uh, yeah, this is also... I think this is fifth grade, actually. When I was in fifth grade, I used this sketchbook. This is, yeah. So, as you can see, I developed a bit, but still a little strange. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Okay. See? Why is this so bad, girl? Um, and I guess my friend at the time, Lydia, was here, in fact. These were definitely like traced. Okay, they might not be traced, but they were they no, I think they were traced. Um, yeah, maybe. Cause that seems a little too good. Okay. Okay, do I have to do this now? Okay, I kinda have to go into my past. Before I was using this channel for what I'm using it now, I had a YouTube channel <sighs> similar to those of the time, and still exist, I guess of uh, toy toy channel like doing little skits with the little ponies uh, um hi ah!
and this was my mascot or whatever but you know what yeah we're just gonna move on from that um i can't believe whoa i knew i knew who surprise was what this i didn't know i drew oh my god okay this is a oc of mine that i kept for a while and it was like my sona or whatever and this is probably like the first drawing of her to exist it's kind of crazy lazy sunday my luna obsession i was obsessed with her um she does have like she's pretty superior though so cool i didn't spell that right did not spell that right yeah i love the use of the space like okay can't you just imagine this in like a really like high-end art museum like this should be in the moma for real like okay um i think this oh my god i'm getting memories now this is um um anybody remember the schoolhouse rock or whatever the hell it was school school something uh this was for a project in elementary school and i had to draw the bill i'm just a bill um <laughs> this was me this was me filming my youtube videos i don't want to talk about it okay this was fluff that i ha also had a uh, I thought was, I, I I I, 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 damn damn i also had an obsession with Flufflepuff. this is supposed to be oh this is supposed to be her does anybody remember that and then twilight's like my spell worked and she's like not fluffy anymore my mind Was anybody else obsessed with My Little Pony Creepypastas, but was also very scared of them? I remember I drew this, and my friend at the time was like, Oh my god, stop, stop, it's too scary, stop, I, I don't want to think about that. Um, yeah, that's, like, this is scary. Honestly, that's kind of sad, though. Occur, cool. I love that one. Didn't even try. Like, I literally didn't try. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. See, I just used the space so well. Look. <laughs> um, that's kind of cute, I guess. What the? What the hell? What the? Whoa. I think it was around fifth grade that I started to get into, um, Five Nights at Freddy's. I was a FNAF MLP girly. This is middle school again. Um, I came back and drew this. I don't know. This is one of my OCs. Their name was Meme. Um, I'll probably go more into him later. <laughs> I was really obsessed with drawing them. My favorite was Toy Chica. Here is a series of drawings I did. I was obsessed with all the girls. The girls. Or... Er, Mango's not a girl. At the time, it was speculation, you know what I mean? A little bit. I mean, I was in fifth grade. Cut me some slack here. Um, here is a fail. Ew. You got that right. You got that right. Oh my god. Toy Bon Bon. I really thought this was the funniest thing in the world. Flip that table. Flip that table. Flip all the tables. I really thought that was so hilarious. Bob, put the tables back. Never! <laughs> I think that's a copy pasta, and I just stole it. <sighs> Derp XD cat. Like, this... What was this era? Because I don't even think stuff like this was relevant that much. Maybe it was. It was like 2015. I feel like we were way past this. I obviously wasn't. Girl. Girl. Okay, middle school. Okay, this was my one of my OCs. His name is Sailor. I like how you're getting um, my past and a little peek in the future, too. Not that this is the future now. Just saying, like, this is the future. Yeah, I don't know. I think I got new Sharpies or something. I don't remember who drew this. Somebody else drew that. Oh, these are, like, inspired by, um, not the Unicornos. They're, like, I don't remember what they're called. They're, like, the same company as Unicornos those blind boxes all right yeah oh my god Ow. oh my god my knee does anyone remember venturian tale 
Did anybody watch Manchurian Tale? Because I sure as hell did. Um, I think they went through a controversy though. Um, most of them left. I think they were very isolated as children or something. I don't know, but this was all of the people in Venturian Tale. And then I think I tried to like redraw them um, later on. Pony eyes. You got that right. I like how I filled out the whole page. Damn. I was really into drawing furries too at the time, but I didn't know they were called furries. Oh my god. Blood or cheek, I see. Combination. I love com- I loved combining things. Um, yeah. This was more recent. I don't know. This was like pretty recent. Uh, that's pretty terrible. <laughs> I was really proud of this. Um, but yeah. That's it for that book. Oh shoot. This was my, um, binder in sixth grade, I think? Middle school? Yeah. Yeah, let's just say I was, um, I was, um, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll just explain everything that's here. Pony Elsa, obviously. Cat Noir and Ladybug. I don't think I drew this stuff particularly because I loved it. I think I just drew it because it was kind of popular at the time. Cat Noir and Ladybug as ponies. These are my OCs. And I stole this, um, bow tying knot from someone on Instagram, I think. Like, I stole it, like, this idea. Um, I don't remember who they were, sorry. This is Moon Mist, as I said before. And this is, I think his name was, like, Lightning Speed or something. And they were, they were in love. <sighs> oh, Moon Mist was a Princess Luna's daughter, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> these are Bethany and... What's his name? Bethany and Fry or something? From Bravest Warriors. I was kind of obsessed with that. Oh, there's kind of a glare. Okay, yeah, there's that. There's that. There's that. Um, and then this is, this is a YouTuber, a pony YouTuber that was popular at the time, I think. Um, I think her name was like Casey. Casey. Um, but she just reviewed like My Little Pony episodes, I think. And then on the back, we got my Minecraft Sona. I made some, I made like three of these for my friends, and we each had one. Um, Moon Mist again. I don't even know where to start on this. Um, this is a stuffed animal that I have and still have named Bob, and I don't know, I was kind of just obsessed with him or something. I just kind of had like a funny... I was a funny girl, okay? I I thought I was so funny. Yeah. Okay, let's get into it. This will probably mostly be schoolwork. Um, perfect attendance in November. Look at me. I'm so freaking special. This was an OC. I cut one of him out. Uh, Harper. Um, use a boy. I don't, I don't use, like, any of the OCs at this time. Um, but I do plan on doing a, like, redesign of one of my first human OCs at some point. Oh, yes, here we go. Into the Hamilton. Look, if there's a cringy phase somebody had, I probably had it. I was obsessed. I had a crush on John Lawrence, Anthony Ramo Ramos, Ramos. Yeah, he's kind of a POS now, but that is not her skin color. I didn't know any better, okay. Um, yeah. I think I had these hanging on my bulletin board. Oh, I kind of went through a musical phase. These are all my OCs um, in the Cell Block Tango song. Um, these will probably pop up. Um, this is, I forgot, um, Fiona, I don't remember. Pepper, I don't remember, I don't remember. But they'll probably pop up again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't even... I'm not going to explain this right now, but... All you need to know is that this is my OC. Um, she was a fawn or whatever. Her name was Fauna. <laughs> Fa no, she wasn't a fawn. She was a deer. But her name was Fauna. And this is my friend's OC. Um, this was me going through... All my classes in middle school, um, this is supposed to be me. I don't remember the order, but band, gym, science, this was my friend, um, social studies, math, 
reading and then my friends say why book shake and then fifth period fifth period was like kind of like study hall lol is you dead um school am i right am i right school guys school like high school and school like yeah like i can totally relate so this was supposed to be me but it originally came from this and this was supposed to be me but she ended up being one of my first human ocs named margo and uh she's the one i plan on redesigning her whole story kind of thing but this was like the first drawing of her don't you love that hair gradient it makes no sense this was probably like this was later on in middle school um does it hurt no it's fine this is harper and this is uh i forget her name this was pepper pepper was a clown and I'm realizing I've always kind of had an obsession with clowns because I have a clown OC now. How many times am I going to say clown? But yeah, he was a... I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> um, um, okay, here we go. This is so obscure and weird, but I had an obsession with this show called Rain and it was on Netflix. And it's just a stupid CW show about... Queen Mary, but it's not accurate at all. And I was obsessed with it, and I had... I I can't even explain this because it's so strange. It's like the weirdest thing I've ever done. I had OCs for the show, and I made all the people in the show ponies. And it's just so, like, it's such an obscure show that the fact that I had such an obsession with it was kind of strange. Anyway, moving on. I don't want to go into this. Here's another. The soon-to-be Queen of France. Here's a Scantron. Why didn't we ever use the back of these? This was a little thing. What did I put? Treacherous. Oh, no. I, I turned... Did I turn... No. I don't think I had to turn this in, but... Ew, bro. Ew! Look my swig. <laughs> So my school had like, they had money basically that you could get like for doing things and I wanted to do like commissions for that currency, but I never ended up doing it because I'm too shy. Here's OC, I don't know who that is. Um, this is my OC meme as Troy Bolton. We're all in this together because I was so um, funny and random. Oh. These were my, I came up with these like elemental OCs, like not elemental, but like clouds, weather OCs more like. Yeah, all I'm going to say is um, Pixar cut me a check because you stole my idea, like. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I don't even know how I did this. It's not perfect, but I got it pretty damn perfect. I don't think I used anything. World War One journal. I don't know, this is just something for class, middle school, I don't think there's anything in here. Okay, here's some more of meme. What if I told you meme's awesome? What does that mean? Sometimes I wish I could just like talk to myself and like punch myself in the face. Like I wish I could just go back in time and just like swiftly kick my my younger self. Anybody else get that urge? Um, yeah, okay, that, that seems about it in here. Who was here? Somebody. I can't read that. I think this is also from middle school. This is recent. This is more recent. See, I'm not organized at all. None of this is right or in the right timeline, but hey, you get what you get, all right, here. Um, I don't know what this is. Little girl, a little water girl. This was, I think this was the time I started to really take art, not take it seriously, but get a little more serious about it. Okay, there's uh, Fauna again. I never finished. I. I had a habit and still kind of have a habit of not filling in sketchbooks in order, so I apologize for that. Here's Derpy. Girl, I was like this close to being done with this drawing and I just gave up. Like, I think I hated it, that's why I gave up. Stupid. Oh. Um. Derpy. I love Derpy. I'm a Derpy lover. I think this was supposed to be the crying child from Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, The Bite of 87. You know, more fauna. She was definitely my favorite at the time. Oh, yeah. 
I'm gonna spawn a dusk. Spawn a dusk. Spawn a these nut. Here is um, Moon Mist, daughter of Princess Luna. She becomes an alicorn. You know it. She wasn't born an alicorn. She had to earn it. Unlike some characters, okay? <laughs> Bloodishai. Bloodishai was my favorite, like, out of the main six. Um, so I related to her. How many times are you gonna draw the same thing at the same angle? I think I was gonna post this on um instagram i don't think i ever did have a good one happy kawaii halloween i was also obsessed with saying kawaii i think that was kind of a thing like a kawaii potato there's the pretty girls and there's the popular girls and i look like a potato a kawaii potato <laughs> hey look look see i'm I stick to my roots here on this YouTube channel, okay? I stick to my roots. This is a uh, Fluttershy as a human in her grand galloping gala thingy. Me and my friends had this thing where, um... <sighs> <laughs> I never realized how hard it is to explain this stuff. It's, it just makes sense to me, but it's kind of weird. Okay. It was just this weird thing. Like, do you remember in middle school how your friends would like make up a squad name and put it in your Instagram bio and be like, I'm part of the iPhone squad or something. And we had the Farquad Star Squad based off of Lord Farquad and Shrek because we were just so funny and random guys. I'm telling you I was f so funny like I had people like eating out of the palm of my hand. I was so damn funny. I don't know who this is supposed to be. I think this was supposed to be one of my friends. So I had um this my little pony she was I don't think she even appeared in the show but her name is Lily Blossom and I was like obsessed with her because she kind of looked like derpy and um yeah i guess i shipped her with this pony um wanna play i remember i drew this and some boys in my class were like oh my god you drew that oh my god like oh my god how did you draw that yep dr hooves and derpy again like just fill it in like what's wrong with you like i was literally this close to finishing it there's rainbow dash i never finished um i had a tr i had trouble because i didn't draw guidelines when i first started drawing so i just kind of guessed where it would go and then it wouldn't always work out so like half of her head is missing like her hair should be like <laughs> like her head is like she's missing a chunk out of her brain me after lobotomy it almost looks like i i didn't draw this um weird cat pony i don't know man my art was crusty okay my art was very crusty this was for a what adopt and you, all you had to do was draw the whatever you wanted to adopt and you would adopt it and i did and they never responded so i was just like oh, what do i do is she mine is she not mine <laughs> i never drew her again here is fauna in um what is this oh i'm remembering now there was these um comic book covers of the main six and they had this makeup on and i think i was inspired by that All right, skipping over that. Uh, okay, man, we're right back to it. Let's just say these were OCs, okay? I really, I can't, these were OCs. I really big problem. That's right. You do really big problem. Yeah, I really big problem. Oh my God. Uh, skipping that. Um. Pog, Pog, Planet Dolan. I was kind of obsessed with Planet Dolan. I this was my character Moon Mist in a Halloween costume being a hipster. <laughs> because of course. Anna in a dress. This was another adopt that I never finished. This was me trying to draw furry. I can't ever say I was really furry, but I did enjoy drawing them here and there. Maybe I do qualify. No, not now. I don't qualify as a furry now. Don't get it twisted, but back then maybe I did. Um, Pony. Fluttershy in her little superhero outfit. We're not done with the FNAF ponies yet. No, no. Do that again. Okay. Moving on. Double. Oh god. Oh yeah, this is me going back, I guess, when I thought this was cringy, but I was probably like two years older than this person, so what are you talking about? You still got a long way to go, little girl. Spring trap. 
I don't know if anybody else knows who I'm talking about, but I was really obsessed with a... What was her name? Sonic 99 Ray. Um, she was a FNAF, FNAF art person, and I was really obsessed with her, and I did copy a lot about her. The Kerr. So this is Fauna with, um, wet hair, I guess. The, the, oh, this is like, this is like a, a redraw. Oh my god, look at the improvement. Oh my god. Then, now, oh my god. I improve, I, there is clear improvement, but it's not that noticeable. This is probably the best thing in this damn thing. This whole damn sketchbook. I was really proud of this. Um, it's still not terrible. I didn't finish it, obviously, because they never finished anything. It's not like anything has changed. <laughs> kill it, kill it, girl. Eh. This was, um, does anybody remember Goosebumps? This was slappy as a pony this was slappy and he's telling fauna to read it because i think that's like part of his character but i honestly don't remember apparently i was obsessed with him for a second too i don't know who this is i think this was like fauna's lover or something this was my friend group at the time i think um i don't remember oh i did this one for somebody's birthday and um guess what i never finished it this was a uh, fauna's dog and as you can see i drew dogs very similar to how i drew ponies when that's not right like mm -mm. um this was fauna and slappy again i don't know and then i guess this is maybe her again i don't really couldn't tell you fauna again this was um my other OC, Neeks. Neeks was her name. And a bunch of... There we go again. Um. Uh, yeah. I love... Yeah. Another, like, meme copy pasta kind of thing. Relatable. Am I right? Okay. This was, um, me drawing with my cousins at my grandparents' house. This, these were drawn by my cousins. These were obviously drawn by me. This was their dog at the time, and then this was my uncle's dog. Um, they don't look like that at all, obviously. Zim legs. Yeah, okay, there's that one. I'm not sure what's in here. I don't remember what era this one is from. Uh, not a good one. This was my I don't care about anything phase. This one actually was more, uh, newer. Still middle school. I guess I was getting into watercolor. That's terrible watercolor, by the way. Um, uh, this was a character, I don't remember her name. This was probably, like, around maybe late 7th, or maybe this was, like, summer 7th grade. Really kept similar things going on, didn't I? Um, I think that this was, like, that challenge where you draw blobs and then draw stuff out of it. As you can see, I'm not very- I wasn't very creative and I didn't know what to do. It's honestly- oh, look, I did it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this was another OC. I was really churning out those OCs, wasn't I? Forget her name. She was like an angel, like a garden angel or something. This is... Stop, please, boy, just stop. Okay. We were learning how to draw, like, ribbons in art class. And I really latched on to that. I don't know. Dog. This is my old dog. He died, like, a long time before I drew this. Um, it's not very good. His name is Jack. I had this OC. I think I might have was heavily inspired or straight up copied another OC. I don't remember. But, um, his name, I don't remember his name. Then, I don't know if- uh, Doesn't make sense. If this isn't scary, then I don't know what. Let's go. So you're a demon demon. Yep. I want to be loved. Girl, shut up. If this isn't scary- I don't know what is. Let's go. I guess I I felt the need to redraw all of that. Do you think he likes? Of course. Wouldn't count on it. She obliterated him. Oh my god. That was this. This is that Wendy's era where everyone was drawing Wendy. Wendy's nuts. McDonald's. Never heard of it. Oh, this is Ryan. Ryan from um, Buzzfeed Unsolved. I was going through a little phase there. Um, another. This little dog is another OC of mine. His name is Doug. He was kind of like a little funny, like, meme OC. See? I'm kind of obsessed with drawing him. He was actually pretty fun to draw. Uh, I'm not sure. 
little smear, little poo-poo smears. Oh, yeah, maybe this uh, this might be like qualify as a furry era. And these little rabbit and little sheep OC. I don't remember their names. I can't see anything Belle. Yeah, this was her like love interest or something. This was, I guess, that OC. Um, I guess Jesse from Toy Story, Woody from Toy Story, I guess. Oh, this is actually look oh, wait, that's actually really cute. Oh, and this is me going back to the sketchbook. Like, um, this is probably I don't remember when this was, but yeah, it's pretty bad too. This is just a binder full of like notebook paper. This is my obsession with the Breakfast Club. I had like a uh, obsession, like a phase of like 80s movies, like uh, John Hughes movies. I really liked fun couple goals these were more of my ocs i couldn't tell you their names i had this little like i always had like serious ocs and then i had like little funny ocs and this was one of the funny ocs um his name was him this is him stays the same size maybe this is talking about the guinea pig always fat not a bunny offended easily hip woof okay this is about him this is him's mom and this is um him's brother like a normal puppy and this is him okay moving on this is stupid i didn't really come into my own yet as you'll see i think i was trying to do more like better proportions i think this is me yeah that's me i was really proud of this when i drew it i think she was supposed to be like an alien or something when i drew this i thought this was so good do you ever have that moment where you're like oh my god this is like this is it this is like how i draw and then you look back at look back at it like years later and you're like oh my god that's terrible but i was really proud of that i was really proud of these this was um like bye bye birdie song from the musical bye bye birdie i never watched it never seen anything on it just like the song oc's i don't remember i kind of like this pen i kind of want this pen again i was still in the musical kind of thing milo you look different grew out your hair i don't know if this is a good idea more breakfast club i don't know if this is like this might be like supposed to be one of my ocs or something i don't know debbie johnson okay her name is debbie johnson the most generic name i've ever heard in my life another oh no he's hot moment i can't do this <laughs> i was really proud of this it's kind of hard to see i think it's kind of hard to see on camera now we're entering my smosh phase shane was my fave in the smosh crew i would not shut up about the smosh crew um i wasn't into smosh the anthony and ian days i was into smosh when these mfers showed up and I know that's an unpopular opinion, but can you, like, maybe chill? Ice? It's kind of cute. 1986. I'm going through a style change here. I did this with, like, one of those bingo sticks. Gotta go fast. I want to die. Pass the blunt. Jesus, take the wheel. My handwriting was terrible. Alright, I think that's gonna be it for now until i edit this portion and then maybe i'll go back for more but should i go through this one too all right i'll go through one more this was middle school too um but whoa whoa scandalous I okay there's those two again the little bunnies oh that's kind of cute i remember i made the shapes with the markers and then i filled them in with the pen i think that's kind of cute this is another sketchbook that has like i think a mix of old and new i believe or maybe i ripped out all the old because i was embarrassed but it's not like i filled it out any better these were like my lifeguarding OCs or something. I don't really know. I don't remember his name at all. Or her name. Ooh. Ooh. What the ew? I think this is supposed to be Jughead Jones from Riverdale. But I suck. I suck. I wasted so much paper. Will I go back and fill it in? You know, I'd like to say I would, but let's be honest here. I really don't do traditional art that much anymore. Oh, yes. 
I'm not even going to turn for that because I don't think it's worth it. Oh, I was obsessed with dogs at this point. I really wanted a dog and my parents were like, mm -mm, no, no dog. Almost looks like I didn't draw this, but I guess I did. Oh, maybe I should like draw a face. Um, give her some hair. Ooh, beautiful. See, look, improvement. I also wanted to include this one. Um, this one is from middle school of like sixth grade i think this is from um this was probably one of my first like i always say serious but it's not really that serious just like i took it a little i i babied it a little more i guess um on the cover there's margo and then this girl in my class was like she was really into like looking at my art and stuff and she wrote Marco book, but it's actually Margo. I think she misheard me, but I never changed it. Um, this is such- uh, these sketchbooks really, like, pissed me off after a while because they would always do stuff like this and, like, rip out. These were, like, my stuffed animals I gave, like, little personalities to. Uh, Stefano, Bobby Joe, Doug. Daniel. I only have Bob now. I don't have- I don't remember- like I remember these stuffed animals kind of, but I don't have them anymore. I was really obsessed with this Dolan meme. I thought it was the funniest thing in the world, so I would put it- I was trying to put it on every page. This is Emmett. He is another character in the- with my Margo character. Fauna again. Again, really good at like filling things out, aren't I? Do the bobble. I think I was just trying to do a bunch of like little things with Bob or whatever. Um, I, I actually have Bob. Wait, this is Bob. He's just my childhood stuffed animal that I for some reason had like an obsession with. I just thought it was the funniest damn Margo, <laughs> Margo. I, I had these, um, I don't know if any other, like, young artist had these pens, but I had these Bic, Bic alcohol markers that I got from Walmart, and I was just obsessed with them, but they really didn't have good skin tones at all, so I'd have to use that weird pink color. This is meme. I don't know what all that is. Okay, here we go. So, I was going to do a comic with them, obviously, as everybody does, and I was not good at doing this. Um, the comic's name was Newbie. I remember posting some of this on Instagram, and somebody DM'd me on Instagram, and it absolutely broke my heart. They said, your art is lay ass, and I was like, <laughs> it's over. I can't do it anymore. At the end of the day, they were right. Let's let's read this, okay? Newbie. This is the little cover. Okay, Margo, you can do this. And I didn't spell Margo right. I think it's spelled with a T, but I always spelled it without the T because I didn't like how it looked. Yeah, Margo, you do best. And she's like talking to herself. And then and then like they're looking at her all weird. Hi. And then this was Jane and Emmett, and they're walking on the sidewalk. Hi, Emmett. And then they bump into each other. Sorry. Pick you up. Why did I, I think it was like not obvious that she was going like, here, here's my hand. Let me help you. Hi, I'm Emmett. Hi, I'm Margo. I gotta go. See ya. Jane. She's the one. Hey, look, her phone number. I wrote this because I didn't want you to forget, Mom. Wow, I, I love how I pushed it along. Bye. Just having her phone number on a piece of paper she dropped. And she's getting a text, and the teacher's like, what? God, this is so terrible. <laughs> and then I didn't care enough about this, so I, like, hello, hey, Margo, who's this? It's Emmett from outside. And you can't even see it because <laughs> the marker bled through. Here's Bob again, and he's, like, out the window looking at her. This is the continued comic. Beep. I'm gonna be sad because she... <laughs> playing hard to get home. This is like hella creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Like, ugh. Two can play that game. Dude, I'm in class. And she's angry. Shouldn't you be in class? Oh, yeah. And then he runs. Look at that. Look at that. Ugh. And then she's like, ugh. Oh, so... And then gets a text. Bye, babe. And she's like, oh, actually, he's kind of sweet. Like, oh my god. No, 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 no. Terrible, terrible, terrible. This was me trying to 
work out like proportions and stuff. I was I was really into the show called I Zombie at the time and trying to draw her, but yeah, that's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. There's Moon Mist, Dolan. Oh, here we go again. Um, there's the I Zombie character in um, pony form. That's just what I did. It's just terrible. Okay, here we go. This was my friend's character. And then Emmett's like, stay away from Margo with a knife. And Jane likes Emmett. And Margo, I guess, likes Emmett, but won't admit she likes Emmett. And Emmett likes Margo. Pepsi Cola. Coca Cola glass. I don't give a damn. Alright, this is part two to the. What the? <laughs> this is part two to the, um first part of the comic I guess even though it was literally like five pages long okay so it's lunchtime and he's like pat 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 come sit with us hi Margo and then Jane's like oh. hi I'm Margo Jane nice to meet you and he's like in love look at that side profile ah and she's angry <clears throat> um what sorry I just got lost in your eyes again uh. And then it's all in his head. Oh, it's so stupid. This is meme. I loved meme. There's Margo and then Minecraft. Minecraft? I don't know. This is a um, something somebody in my class did with markers. Probably the best thing in this damn thing. Um. This is more meme. Top of the morning to you, laddies. I just was so funny. Um, I started doing these little things. I wish I had these this artwork because I think in the sketchbook I cut out a lot of things or ripped it out, but I had a couple of these and basically the idea was like you could just like hold them like this, like cut them out and hold them and it looked like they're hanging. I got that idea from somebody else, but <laughs> Jesus Pony, okay. Fauna. And this is Fauna and um, her love interest, like, growing up. A Y? Okay, elephant. I don't know. Meme. Um, I think... Okay, that's kind of... St <laughs> this one's a little smeared. I read the Lunar Chronicles. I don't know if anybody knows the Lunar Chronicles, but I was kind of obsessed with it. Still am. It's a good book series, honestly. Um, but I drew Scarlet and a bunch of the other characters. I'm so done with life. Tap, tap. Um, this was, a uh, Fauna's dog. I think his name was, like, Spot or something. Um, this was my furry character. Not helping my case and saying I'm not a furry, honestly, but, eh. I was writing, like, spelling words or something. And then this was, I don't remember his name, but... He was like Neeks's love interest, I think. And then random, and then here's like a character lineup of of the characters. Why did I spell Emmett to like that? Emmett, <laughs> Maddie, Maddie's a cheerleader. Jane, Margot, Emmett, and Gus. Gus um did not have any significance, but yeah. Oh, and then here's the back. I was really proud of these. They were my two go-tos, my two pony OTC go-tos, but yeah, pretty terrible stuff in this one for sure, but I was very attached to the sketchbook. Um, it's pretty bad though, I will say. Thanks for watching guys, um, I still have a lot more, so if you guys want to see more artwork, please let me know because this was a lot of fun. Let me know if you guys want to see any more, thanks for watching, peace.